the show. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Jonas. Let me know. No. Hi, I'm Jonas. Um, I'm part of the Royal Republic. The yeah. rhythm section. Yeah. You got the foundation sitting in front of you. <laughs> so the most important people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So back at what I'm doing finally. Yeah. Yes. Back at concerts. How yeah. do you feel about it? I would like to know that. I feel so incredibly grateful to have my life back and to see this again and to be able to do what we've done for the past what 15 years almost yeah something like that I uh, the, when we when I stepped on this uh, drum podium at the rock and park I had the, like I saw all those people and I had like the biggest win sensation that I've had in a really long time so it's was been it, was it the first one Really no, yeah, yeah, first really big one. Okay. Yeah. We did a, a couple of uh, warm-up shows in Sweden during April and May, just to kind of like get, get into the groove, and uh, so that was yeah, like uh, what is the tuning? E A D G. Ah, ish, kinda, close enough. Great. It's a bass guitar. It's not so that. So you can expect something today. Yeah, yeah at least something. <laughs> You can exit. Great. Um, no. Just one thing to music and bands. We have in Germany now that big critics about two less women on stage, especially here at Rock Am Ring. There are yeah. many ladies or ladies bands. No. Um, what is your opinion about it? Do you agree with that? And uh, yeah, first question. If there, of course, there should be even more girls and female playing. I think it's a great thing. Uh, I'm basically not, of course, we just four dudes in our band and th that's how the band was formed. And But if there's more people out there, they, I think they should have an opportunity as much as we do. It's easy. I think, I think uh, it's important that everybody gets to be an artist and that the artist and the music is at the center of everything and that it doesn't, <laughs> That it doesn't collapse into a gender discussion. I feel like uh, there's a lot of really great women band and front men or front women, uh, and they should they should of course be be here as much as anybody else. Uh, and um, if you could choose a Swedish lady or a Swedish ladies band, who should be on stage at Rock Ring maybe next year? The sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, rock, pop oriented music, the sounds I would say. And she is, uh, she's the front person in the band. And she's an amazing, like, it's great energy. And you follow along, you sing along. She has a great stage performance. And it's a great entertainment. And it's a great band. What's the name of the, 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 the band Ole Tours with? Radio Rebelle. They have a really great chick singing at the front as well. And Roxette, but oh, she's dead now. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, but they could call Nightwish as well. <laughs> that is a prop. <laughs> then, that's like, she's one of the best female singers I've ever heard, I would say. Um, you're on stage now for many years. Yeah. Worldwide. Is there any goal that you still didn't reach, that you still want to reach as band or as musicians? Mm. Wow, now that's, yeah, we haven't been doing interviews for two years and then this question. <laughs> I feel like for now it's just a matter of getting back because it would be awesome to play stadiums. I don't think I want to play only stadiums for the rest of my life. I nah. really enjoy playing club shows. I really enjoy playing festivals like the big stages and the smaller festivals in the summer. But, yeah. of course, having that on your, uh, like, yeah. merit badge, yeah. like, like we toured stadiums somewhere, maybe Germany. Yeah. It seems more likely in Germany than in uh, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Is, it, is there a country that you didn't play that you would love to play? I think I would love to go either to South America, I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Uh, or just because it's way off, like New Zealand would be fun. Japan, I always wanted to go and play in Japan. We've been close a couple of times, like close calls, but 
something happened like two months before we were supposed to leave. Like, ah, it got cancelled. Like, Where's your fan base? Where is it the most biggest? It's in your Germany. Home country, Germany. Germany, Germany, I would say. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I've seen that you have a lot of concerts this year. Yeah, we we kind of built it that way somehow. We got a ma uh, German management very early, and then we started touring with Do Nots here, and so we got our first little fan base, and yeah. that's just where we've been building it uh, yeah. the most. You know, it's coming to, to Germany, to Germany to record the albums, no, or to put, to work on your albums. Not the last to ones. And the, and the Sometimes you did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a lot. And well, it started basically like the second album was done in Berlin. The third, third album. Was the, and the fourth was Half Half, Berlin and uh, Malmö. And uh, new album. I think it's time for a new album. Which is it is. Yeah. Yeah. Tell we're not it. really sure what we're doing at, no. the time, at the moment. We're just putting out songs. Yeah. We'll probably compile them into a... But it just seemed like... It was kind of a, I don't want to talk uh, like depressive stuff, but it was kind of a really hard blow for the band when the pandemic hit. And we didn't really do anything for a long time. We were no. just no. really, like, really like struggling. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. And then we started making songs and it seemed too, too big of a thing to do a record. So we just started releasing songs. And it's really working out for it. Like the way Spotify works with the whole, I don't want to bore with algorithms and stuff, but it really, really so suits us, does it look the... good for a new album for the fans? Yes, it yes, there will be a new there album. There will be a new album. Yeah. <laughs> like we're, we're saving up, like we collected a bunch of ideas and demos during this two year yeah. period. So there will be a new album for sure. Okay, you're coming to Luxembourg this November. Yeah. Why should the people come to your concert? It's a good, it's a good show. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no, it, we usually have the the motto that if you want to see um, some life is hard and troublesome as it is. So if you want to be able to maybe forget that for at least 90 minutes, then you should go see our show. We will help with that. I think we've always said that yeah. the concerts are like it's a relationship between the four of us and the fans of the band, and the concerts are the sex of the relationship. We didn't have sex for like two years. No. So now we're really ready. So really ready, ready to fuck. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I like mm. that. Okay, last but not least. Um, for the fans who want to look like you guys, what is the secret of your hair that you always put on when you're on stage? And um, your outfits. Is, is it your idea, the outfits? Where do you get the ideas? Who's creating them? Yeah, the other room. <laughs> Is that I mean, it's like basically, yeah, we need to put more and thicker clothes for every <laughs> yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. So it started off pretty easy, like just a shirt, and then it was shirt and a jacket, and then it was shirt vest jacket, and now it's like shirt and a leather jacket closed. Like and the rest of us were kind of like, well, we're, we're wearing something. It's like it's all right, and yeah. he's like, we gotta change it. I feel like it's time we changed everything. Yeah. We need to change this. We need to change that. We need to wear this. Not, can't we have something? Else? We just bought these jackets. <laughs> So your frontman is your designer? He is, uh, yeah. Not the designer, but... Uh, uh, he, he is... Uh, dictator, is <laughs> yeah. And everybody's very on board. Like, it should be at least some sort of uh, uniform that yeah. we wear the same stuff. We put on a uniform and we go on. Yeah, so people like, work a time. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, my questions. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And I hope I